right, seventh grade, lesson 50. This one is on unit multipliers and unit conversions. Now, let me walk through something really quick. If I had two-thirds times three-fifths, do you remember a simpler way before we multiply what I can do? Cross multiply cross, To cross out to reduce. That's called canceling. Very good. So what can I cancel? A three and three. Uh-huh. So a three and a three. Three will go into three one time. Three will go into three one time. Let's pretend. I'm going to make this a six. Okay, what can I do here? Uh, you can make six three, I think. Okay, so basically you have to come up with a number that goes into both two and six, right? So two will go into both of them. Two will go into two one time, and two will go into six three times. And then you just go one times one is one, and one times three is three, okay? So we learn to cancel things, okay? And that's very important that you remember that that's what we do because you're fixing to learn something really well, um, something really weird. Um, for example, if I was going to convert five feet into inches, okay? I'm convert converting feet to inches, okay? So... The first thing you have to establish is when you're converting five feet into inches is how many inches are in a foot or how many feet are in inches, okay? So how many inches are in a foot? How many inches are in a foot? Twelve inches are in a foot. Okay. Okay, so there are twelve inches is the same thing as one foot. One foot is the same thing as 12 inches, right? Now, they're wanting you to learn to write this like this. 12 inches is the same thing as one foot, and one foot is the same thing as 12 inches. They're just wanting you to learn, this is called a unit multiplier. Write that down in your notes. This is called a unit multiplier. I'm just gonna put dot, 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 so I don't have to write it all the way out, okay? So whenever you are learning that you're going to convert feet to inches, five feet, and they're wanting you to convert it to inches, you need to write down the two things they're wanting you to convert. They're wanting you to do feet and inches. So you need to come up with a correlation, how they, how they work together. And that's what we've done doing unit multipliers. Now, listen to what we're going to do. Five feet, and we're changing it to what? Inches. We're wanting to convert five feet into inches. Okay, now, look at both of these. This one and this one. This unit multiplier has what on top? Inches. Inches. This unit multiplier has what on top? Feet. If I'm wanting to change it to inches, I'm going to choose inches on top. Now, let me show you why. Twelve inches over one foot. Now, before you see this unit multiply right here, okay, now before we start multiplying, because this is a fraction, you see that? I'm going to make this a fraction. Remember how you can make 5 over 1, it still means 5. Now, watch this. Feet, feet cross out just like the numbers did when we were canceling. Now, when I cross out that feet, what did it still leave? Inches. Is that good? Yes, because that's what we're wanting is inches, okay? So I've chosen the right unit multiplier. If I'd have chosen this one, the feet wouldn't have crossed out. And we need the feet to cross out so that we can get inches. Got it? Okay, so I'm going to move this unit multiplier. Okay, now we just multiply. 5 times 12 is 60. And then i got my inches. And then 1 times 1 is 1. And you don't even have to do this over 1. You can just 60 inches. So how much is 5 feet? 60 inches. Feel like you understand it? Mm -hmm. That's how we do unit multipliers. Alright? Now, let's convert 96 inches to feet. What's my first step? Uh, you I'm going to write down something first. Just put like 12 inches. Yep. So because we're looking at inches and feet, we need to come up with the correlation of inches and feet. So how many inches are in a foot? 12. 12 inches. Same thing as one foot. And one 
foot, the same thing as 12 inches. Now, if I'm going inches to feet, which one am I going to choose? This one or this one? The first one. Well, I'm wanting to go to feet. The one. Yes, because I'm going to feet, we want to want the one with the feet on top. Okay, whatever they're asking for, you're wanting to use that one on top. All right, so now I'm going to use one foot over 12 inches. Okay, so now I've got 96 inches, and then you're going to multiply that by one of these unit multipliers, and we've chosen this one. One foot is the same thing as 12 inches. Is that going to be right? Let's look. Inches, inches, cross out. We have feet left, which is what we want, right? So then we, we know we've set it up right. You got what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then we're just going to put that over 1. Okay? Now let's do this. 96 times 1, 96, and then I've got my feet, over 1 times 12 is 12. So then 96 divided by 12 is 8. And then 8, and then I've got my feet still sitting there. See that? My feet. So 96 divided by 12 is 8, and then my feet. 8 feet. So 96, excuse me, 96 inches is 8 feet. See how we did that? Mm -hmm. So when you're converting measurements, you're always going to multiply using unit multipliers. All right? Now, I'm going to let you tell me what to do on this next one. All right? Um, ready? 240 yards. They're wanting us to convert that two feet. They're wanting us to convert 240 mm -hmm. yards to feet. Will you divide it by three? Well, I don't know yet. Yes, we, need to, we need to figure out what it is. Right, so let's do yards to feet and then feet to yards. So how many feet are in a yard? Do you remember? Three. Three. So three feet is the same thing as one yard. See how I did that? I wrote my unit multiplier. And then I write the opposite. One yard is the same thing as three feet. All right, now, if I'm converting yards to feet, which one am I going to use? The first one or the second one? The first one. Yeah, because why? Because it's feet. Because it's feet. We always want the one on top to be the one we're converting to. All right, ready? So, we take 240 yards times, and um, it was three feet over one yard, right? So now we cross out, well, we put this over one first. Then we cross out our yards, yards, which is good because we don't want yards anymore, we want feet. Okay? And now I take 240 times 3. And that ends up being what? 720. 720 feet. Final answer. Got it? Okay, but what if it said 250 feet? That's 240. I'm sorry, 240 feet to yards, okay? So it's going to change some things. We still need to write down feet to yards. There are three feet in one yard, and there are one yard in three feet, okay? Now, this time I'm going from feet to yards, so which one am I going to use? The first one or the second one? The second one. Second one. Okay, so I'm going to write 240 feet times this unit multiplier. One yard over three feet. You see how we're doing that, Isaac? Give it, Eli? Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, put that over one. Remember that? Feet and feet cross out. Mm -hmm. And then 240 times one is 240. And we got yards still. And then over three times one is three. And so 240 divided by three is 80. 80 yards. Final answer. Like well, you got it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, sometimes it may say, we're almost done, it may say something like this. Convert 350 millimeters to centimeters. Now, they go on and tell us that one centimeter is the same thing as 10 millimeters. You staying with me? So, basically what I do is put this into a unit multiplier. One centimeter is over 10 millimeters, and 10 millimeters is the same thing as one centimeter. Now, 
If I was converting 350 millimeters, we're not actually going to do this problem, we're just going to set it up. If I was going to take 350 millimeters and convert it to centimeters, which one do I choose? Uh, the first one. First one. So, I would say 350 millimeters over 1 times this one because we're wanting the centimeters on top. 1 centimeter over 10 millimeters. Okay? And the millimeters would cross out. We would multiply and figure out the final answer. Okay? Um, this one I want to talk about for just a second. In problem, practice set D. This one may be confusing, okay? And so what I want to do is just walk you through this really quick. Here's what it says. To convert 10 yards to inches. Now, what's the problem? Uh, do we know yards to inches? No. No. But we know inches to feet. Okay. feet to Very yards. good. So, but we do know inches to feet and feet to yards. That is a very important good job that you knew that you needed to do that. So let's figure out something. Three. So 12 inches equals one foot. Okay. So um, help me figure out how many inches are in one yard. Okay. So th there are actually two different ways you can do this. Okay, but we know that three feet equal one yard. So if 12 in inches equals one foot, how many is three in feet? Yes? It's 36. Inches. 36, okay. So 12 inches is one foot, 24 inches would be two foot, and 36 inches would be three foot. You see how we did that? 12 inches plus 12 inches plus 12 inches, one foot plus one foot plus one foot equals three feet. So, we figured it out, didn't we? So now you just write your unit multiplier. One yard is the same thing as 36 inches. And 36 inches is the same thing as one yard. And then you'd work the problem just like normal. Got it? Mm -hmm. That's lesson 50.